Now to manage risk, we have various stop loss orders available. If we go back to the Netflix example and right click. So to manage risk, again, we have various stop loss orders available. We have standard stop market and stop limit orders. And we also have a bracket order feature or OCO where one cancels the other. So bracket orders will allow you to route both a profit target and a stop loss area to help you manage your risk. For example, if we go back to the vertical call spread on Netflix and then left click on bracket, we're gonna see a bracket menu pop up and then it will allow you to select where you wanna take your profits and where you wanna get out the trade if it's drawing down too much. And if one side of the trade gets filled, the other one automatically gets canceled. So this bracket order feature is available for options, is available for option spreads, stocks and ETFs, and also features. Let's go ahead and clear this out. For traditional stop losses, we will need to go back to the positions tab. We're gonna to have to simulate a closing order. And then above the review and send button, you're gonna see a menu that says order type. So we can change this from a net credit to a stop limit order. And now in the center panel, you're gonna see two boxes, one for the stop price where your stop will trigger, and then the limit price where your order will be sold or try to get sold once the stop has been triggered. If I wanna do just a stop market order, it can't be done on spreads, but it can be done on single leg options. So if I clear this out, go back to my positions. And if instead I didn't wanna stop out of a spread and I wanna close out of this MU contract, for example, right click, select close position. And again, above review and send, if I change this order type menu, it will now give me an option to have a stop market order. So as soon as you type in a stop price and that order is elected, it begins selling you out right at the market price. Now to close the option order, we can start by returning back to the positions tab. From there again, we want to select the legs of your spread and then right click and select close position. After this, you're redirected to the trade screen where you can modify your limit price. So Right now, the midpoint is at 1.9, but if I want to get filled, maybe I want to try 1.7. Once that looks good, we're going to hit review and send. Double check the order one more time, and then send the order to the market. There we go. And we get that notification in the top left. So let's review the trade and the activity tab. Below position and trade, we're going to click on activity. So you can see that we opened the trade at 73 cents. We closed it and rolled it out to the January 26th, paid an additional 128, and then closed the order at 1.87. So now we want to review the profit and loss of this trade. The best way to see this will be in the history tab. So again, below the positions trade and activity, you're going to see all these different icons. And one of them looks like a arrow going around a clock. That would be the history. So if I left click on this icon, it would take us to the history tab. And this is where you can select the legs for your opening and closing transactions. And the platform will automatically calculate the P&Ls for you, including any commissions and fees. So if you can see where I bought Netflix here, the very first trade, we then rolled it out and then closed it. And if we look in the top right corner above the word amount, it looks like I lost a total of $14. And then the commissions and fees are located in the left side of it. So pay $4 in commissions for everything, $1.11 for the fees. And so the net loss there is about $19, $20 right there. Another neat feature about the history tab is if we left click on the word year to date right here, this will show you your performance and all your underlyings by different ticker symbols as well. So this is how we performed so far this year. Has been that much activity, so everything is relatively flat. But this is really nice because it will keep track of which tickers you're doing well, all the commissions you've paid, and then your net P&L, including all those commissions and fees. <laughs>